Hello, so today I'm back with another Beat Up Dummy Simulator video, and this one's actually going to be uh, quite a bit different from my other videos, because it's not going to be a showcase or a tutorial. This one's actually um, my current ideas for Beat Up Dummy Simulator. And my first idea is it would be cool if when you're in a private if you when you're in your own private server specifically, like I am right now, if you could have like a cheats menu and they can maybe have like a button to get rid of all the cheats because it turn it would turn off progression if you have the cheats menu on, and you can have a button that just kicks everybody from the game so it can reset the server and get rid of all of them. I think it'd be pretty funny if the button just said like cheat or deleter or something. Um, and maybe what this cheats menu could do is, like, one of the cheats, for example, could be that you end up, uh, getting, like, you can select different items to give yourself, because I think that would be a very cool feature. Um, like, for example, with the admin sword, it'd be very useful for just, like, messing around with your friends, just having fun, checking out new weapons, or showcasing them on YouTube. Um, and, yeah, so the next feature that I've got... Um, my mind is gonna require to go over to the door. The modest door potential over here. And it has to do with roll v1 and roll v2. I think it would be nice if there was some sort of lever next to this door or something. Uh, where you could switch between v1 and v2. Maybe you could have, like, um, an, an, a little animation of, like, a paint bucket being dumped over it to change its color. That way you can have, like, a color-coded indicator of which one you're fighting. Because... Currently, if you beat Rawl V1, then you can never fight it again. You'll now only be fighting Rawl V2. Um, and my next idea, like, this would segue perfectly into my next idea, like, it would work as good practice for more fruits in the game. Because currently, as you can see, there are two fruits in the game. The lemon and the melon. Uh, the melon you get by meeting the developer, and the lemon you get by paying a high amount of Robux. Or, not a lot of Robux, but quite a bit compared to the other game passes in this game. Um, and I think it would be cool if they had more very difficult challenges for these different fruits. Uh, so one of the ideas I had is maybe for 1 million blows when you get that badge, instead of just getting the badge, you would also get like, a third fruit, maybe, like, a blueberry and or an orange or something. Um, and another one, maybe for, like, some sort of gauntlet that you could do, where you need to beat every single boss in the game in a row without taking any damage. Like, a very difficult challenge for those who are, like, really experienced in this game. Um, and then you can do that for, like, another fruit. And, yeah, I think that would be a pretty cool... I think those would be some pretty cool additions to the game. So yeah, this is a pretty short video. I just wanted to let you know about these. And I'm just going to end it off with... I recently learned about a creator program for Beat Up Dummy Simulator. So I'm going to be trying to get into that. So... Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and start basing my channel content more around Beat Up Dummy Simulator as a whole. So I've got a couple of... Uh, ideas for like ne the next video and i want to hear which one you guys think is the best so um i'll just pop up a poll and you can choose it so there are like four options one is a roll v1 tutorial another is a roll v2 tutorial without any robux items or event items or any or even any arsenal items just like the items that you're guaranteed to have the third one is a showcase. If you choose this one, comment down below which item you want me to showcase. Um, there are three items I don't have, which are the Dev Sword, the Solar Sword, and the... Uh, what is it? The Excalibur. So I don't actually have those three items, but anything else I can showcase. Um, and the final option is... Grinding to a million blows, where I would start the video at ninety nine, like nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and then get the final blow and kind of show the badge. There wouldn't really be that would be a pretty short video compared to the other ones, but yeah. So it's up to you which one you want to pick. So I'll just pop up a poll if I can on this part of the video and just vote on whichever one you want. Remember, if you are choosing showcase, just comment which item you want in the in the description down below. Anyways, bye.